Hello everybody, so today I want to talk about Bakugo, but more specifically I want to talk about Bakugo training under Best Genist. Now for those who don't remember, Best Genist is the hero that uh, Bakugo is originally doing an internship with during the arc when uh, Midoriya, Todoroki and Ida were fighting Stain, the guy with the genes quirk, you know, he can use strings and whatnot. Now the reason why I want to talk about this is because during that internship we saw some really interesting interactions between Bakugo and Best Genist. Although it wasn't much when we saw them, there was some really... Well, I guess the the interactions were mostly from Best Genist's side because he was really saying some interesting stuff about Bakugo to him. Where he kind of explained to him that, you know, being a hero and being a villain, they're two sides of the same coin. And that got me thinking. Of course, this was before, you know, the whole hideout arc when we found out that Bakugo was never going to become a villain. So at that time, Best Genius may have been worried that Bakugo was going to end up taking to the wrong side. But as it turns out, that didn't happen. Now, currently in the story, Best Genius is in fact, well, he's not hospitalized anymore I think but he is taking a leave of absence for some time we don't really know when he's gonna be returning but we do know that he is alive and he will return at some point so what I want to talk about today is not really what's happened in the past between Best Genius and Bakugo I want to talk about the potential of uh, whenever Bakugo ends up taking an internship much like Midoriya was doing with Night Eye and Togata he might be doing it with Best Genius if he actually returns soon enough into the story because I think if he doesn't then of course Bakugo is going to have to have an internship with someone else because he's gonna have to take the internship you know relatively soon along with Todoroki because the internships that they're having obviously of course they are like a long-term thing it's gonna be you know all the way into the third year because we did see how Mirio to God I was still having his internship with Night Eye so obviously it's not just gonna be right now it's gonna be a thing that's gonna be happening through the course of three years and I think if Best Genius returns like really soon then we could easily see some more progression between Bakugo and Best Genius and more specifically we may be able to see Best Best Genist kind of tame Bakugo's personality and try to steer it into the right direction because that is really what Best Genius wanted to do. He wanted to make sure that Bakugo was on the right track and he may still want to do that because even though Bakugo has made progress in the story, he's a really well developed character so far, he's not all the way there, you know, he still needs work, he needs a lot of work before he will be someone that people will look up to because his personality is something that is kind of toxic even right now in the story, you know, if he were to save some people on the street, it wouldn't be the same as if it was Midoriya saving the same people on the street, Midoriya would have a lot more of a positive impact on those people because Bakugo would probably walk up to them talking in a very negative manner. We know Bakugo is, you know, social skills aren't, aren't exactly his strong suit. He doesn't really like to talk in a respectful manner. He just likes to talk the way he likes to do it, you know, because it's his personality. It's kind of hard to just change the way you are as a person and I can understand that. But that is why I think Best Genius could actually help out because we did see what Best Genius wanted to do. When Best Genius originally scouted for Bakugo during the sports festival, although we didn't really see this, we can kind of assume that he saw the potential in Bakugo. He saw that Bakugo, while he is a very loud and, I guess, aggressive personality, Best Genius still saw something in that. He saw that there is room for improvement, there is room for something great. And I think having Best Genius just return and try and really dig into that more deeply than he already did is something that we really need to see because I don't really think he managed to come up with too much results in the short amount of time that he was doing the internship originally. I think we're gonna have to need something a lot more long term in order to really reach into Bakugo and somehow make a difference. I think Best Genius wanted to show people by taking Bakugo in that there is potential in even the most unlikely candidates. Like even if you may seem like you're a very very negative influence, you may seem like you're about to turn villain on someone, that doesn't necessarily mean that that's gonna be the case and so he took him in thinking that there was a way to actually make Bakugo see where the path of a hero was and even now that you know Bakugo isn't training under Best Genius, I think Best Genius is kind of looking at Bakugo from the shadows in a way, you know, obviously he is having connections with the UA Academy so he can easily find out more about Bakugo and after the high out arc, I think it became clear to most people that Bakugo was never going to become a villain, much like it became
became very clear to us readers because he most likely explained the situation, you know, what happened during the incident, what were he saying to him, all of these kind of things. Bakugo were obviously asked to tell them about them because it is important. You know, he's a student. It is the school's duty to protect him. So he shared all of that information probably and best genius could probably not be happier with the results of that hideout arc. He wanted to prove that Bakugo was never going to become a villain and following that arc, he was right. Even the most unlikely person, the person with the aggressive personality, with the most explosive nature, you know, the one most likely in the class at least to become a villain rather than a hero. The one who would potentially change he didn't and that is why I mean this could just be me maybe it's just me but I do think that having best genius as his internship teacher would be the best possible scenario I mean someone else with very similar values would probably still be just as good but but of course we know who best genius is he's a big icon in the hero society he's like number four hero number three now maybe so if Bakugo trains under him people will know that Bakugo is in good hands as well which is a good thing because because someone like Bakugo, people may not be as sure about Bakugo as Best Genius is, or as the UA Academy is. And when you think about it even further, Best Genius and Bakugo, if you look at these characters, like you put them next to each other, Bakugo is a very wild character, whereas Best Genius, he's a very elegant character, you know, he likes to style and stuff, like he's a hairstylist or something, which we saw in the original internship when he was doing Bakugo's hair and stuff, which kind of goes to show a very good contrast between these two characters like you have this wild dog that's gonna be tamed by this elegant tamer basically okay I guess that's a really good way to describe the situation and I think it's something that would really apply in a good way on the, in the story especially surrounding Bakugo's character but again someone else could still be a very good internship teacher for Bakugo as long as it's the right choice I mean a lot of people besides um, best genius I think wanted Bakugo to have an internship with them but I don't think they wanted it for the same reason I think they were mostly interested in his fighting ability you know his ability to actually fight as a hero for more offense based reasons whereas best genius he was more interested in Bakugo's personality over anything else he wanted to make sure Bakugo was put on the right track and he did sort of manage to do that even if it was very faint that he was because I think if best genius didn't do what he did we wouldn't have seen some of these things that we did with Bakugo like the whole thing during the remedial course arc recently in the manga we saw Bakugo talk to his child in a very interesting way where we previously probably wouldn't have expected that he would do that and I think best genius although it wasn't directly I think he did help out in that regard he made sure Bakugo understood his own personality to some degree and why it wouldn't be the best for a hero perhaps. He may need to change up a few things at least in public if he's going to be a very successful and a hero that people will respect because we have to remember Bakugo's idol is All Might and All Might is a respectable hero. I think Bakugo wants to become a respectable hero as well but his personality at least at the beginning of the story it wasn't fit for that kind of hero but given the path that Bakugo is on right now I think eventually although it's not gonna be anytime soon he will kind of lean towards that as well not really on the same level as Deku because Deku already had the perfect personality to be this really respectable hero you know he likes to help people over anything else whereas Bakugo he's more about fighting he wants power but eventually he will come to know that rescuing people and putting people on the right track much like best genius put Bakugo on the right track that is something that he's gonna put a lot of value into. Well anyway, I'm gonna end the video here, so let me know what you think down below in the comments about this topic, you know, do you think Best Genius should become the internship teacher of Bakugo, or do you think we should see someone entirely new with maybe entirely new values or similar values, but a different mindset than Best Genius had? Let me know down below, you know, whatever you have to say about this whole thing with Bakugo and his internship. And as always, if you did, be sure to Detroit smash that like button if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're new to my channel this has been chaotic plus and remember everyone toga is waifu toga is laifu